Hi everyone, it's Matt here from the Matt EXNY YouTube channel and today we're going to discuss using the Arduino platform along with QRP kits to send Morse code or more precisely to use in beacon mode. Uh, so what we'll be using is one of these little Arduino modules and we'll be uploading some code to it and I'll show you how to use a transistor in place of a physical key to send that code. And just as a side note, just in case you're wondering what this is, I ordered another day's antenna tuner kit because I wasn't happy with my own sort of build quality with the first one and I stuck it inside this delightful little tin that I got off eBay for about two dollars. So I'll give you a brief look inside before we get to the Arduino stuff. Uh, so there's the core properly done this time, proper, properly I think it's properly soldered. Uh, this kit actually came with some far higher quality uh, capacitors than the last one. The last one had these real papery, plastic, sleevey things which weren't that great. So I guess it's a bit of a gamble in terms of what parts you get with these sort of kits, but sometimes you get lucky. And so here we have two examples of what I think are some of the better QRP kits available from China at the moment. We have the frogs QRP and I've given the old trusty Rockmite a proper tin uh, with a fan actually just because it looks cool and yes it says season's greetings and there's a bit of a Christmas theme going on because here in Australia we have a two dollar shop called the the reject shop funnily enough and they had these cheap little chocolate tins on sale for 75 cents each so Arduino hardware wise Lots of companies make these types of boards. You can buy the official ones that have the official Arduino branding, or you can buy one from a company such as this, Geek Crete, I think that's called. Uh, it doesn't come with this little Perspex case. I got this separate for about a dollar eighty off eBay, but it is a very, it's a very nice quality board. I, I feel this one came as part of a kit off Banggood for about I think $30 Australian. You can get Arduino boards off eBay in this form factor. This is called Uno R3 I believe. They they can be very very cheap around $3.50 $4 but they also tend to have bizarre sort of USB controllers. The official software for Arduino works perfectly with this but with some of those cheaper boards um, the software sometimes doesn't recognize the controller so stick to something that at least has a nice little logo on it would be the main point. So just as a brief example of what the Arduino software looks like we have a basic little program or sketch as they call it to blink a light to turn it on for one second and then turn it off for one second as well. So we would click this little upload button here and ta-da! There's our happy blinking little light. So moving straight along to the more sort of complex code that we're going to use to make this little demo demonstration beacon. This was written by a gentleman by the name of Mark Wettering. Mark Van Wettering. And his call sign is K6HX and I will leave a link to his blog and this very code that you can copy and paste in freely to use as well in the description below this video. So if we scroll down here, we see what we're interested in here just after this little section here. So I've written in CQ, CQ, Matt Yak said why, and we're going to have the Arduino send that or flash the light in that Morse code every 4,000 microseconds, about every four seconds. So we'll upload that now, we we'll click upload. And now a little light is flashing something a little bit more interesting. And also in that code, you can modify the words per minute. Oh, there's the delay, four second delay. And there we go. So yeah, you can program the delay, you can program the message you would like to write. And now I bet you're wondering, how are we going to make this key the QRP kit. Well, stay tuned, intrepid viewer. 
So if you see down at the bottom right, there is a blue lead which is ground and the red lead which is going to pin 13, which is the uh, output from the Arduino. And pin 13 is being fed through a 1K resistor there that's going to the base of an NPN transistor. I'm using an S9013 transistor, but I believe any decent NPN will do. And the ground I have going uh, through a small, I think that's an IN4007 diode. That's just uh, to, to protect the Arduino just in case there's any back current coming off the QRP kit itself. So pin 13 is going to the base of the transistor. Uh, ground is going to the emitter and the other lead here which connects to the QRP input plug that you'll see in a moment is going to the collector. And if all goes according to plan it should look a little something like this. There we go. I hope you got something out of that. Cheers.